In the past year, close to 250 livestock were stolen, while 52 suspects were arrested for stock theft in the Irongo region. When animals or carcasses are stolen in the region, they mainly end up at Svakopmund and Valfis Bay. This stolen meat can find its way to the markets at the two towns, where it ends up as Kapana, a Namibian grilled meat delicacy. Most of them are not aware that selling meat without a permit is a crime. So the local police held a meeting with the traders to encourage them to demand permits from whomever they buy their meat from. The person who is supposed to look after your animal stole that meat, stole that animal, kill it and deliver it to the Kapana Sera. And you are saying some of the people have even created contacts with these people that are uh, looking after animals, supposed to look after animals. We need to avoid this type of organized syndicates. Kapana sellers have been urged to be observant when buying livestock or meat. They are advised to make sure that the animal for sale has ear tags. Anything which has not been brand marked and ear tagged, you cannot say it belongs to that particular person. Never make business during night time. The anti-stock theft subdivision will soon conduct an investigation at all meat outlets at the coast. Those without permits will end up behind bars with hefty fines. Renate Rengura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.